Let's begin at the program website, www.landfire.gov. We will scroll down to Get Data. Within the Map Viewer panel, we'll select Data Distribution Site. The new Landfire Map Viewer has three panels. The left panel contains the Table of Contents, as well as the Legend and Help tabs. The center panel is the Data Viewer, and the right panel contains returned pixel information and various tools, more to come in later videos. Go to the drop-down and pick Conterminous U.S., Hawaii, or Alaska. The displayable layers are arranged in a tree format so that you can expand or collapse as you need to see the layers you want to explore. Lampfire has many versions from 2001 to 2019L currently available. I strongly urge you to visit the program website to explore and understand the different versions as there are important differences that could impact your application. However, you can think of the year in the version name as indicating the general vintage of the data with some important exceptions that you can find on the program website. A separate video explaining the versions in more detail will be available soon. You can restrict the visible Landfire versions shown in the table of contents using this drop-down. I can select all versions or an individual version. Notice that there are non-Landfire datasets also available to display to use as background information if you need that for context. Now let's pick some data to explore within the map frame. The checked layer is displayed by default. That is the Landfire 2016 remap existing vegetation type layer. You can turn any layer on and off using the checkbox. You can add multiple layers to the frame, even from different versions. However, if you select more than one layer, the higher layer in the list is what displays within the map viewer. You can see underneath layers, however, by highlighting a layer that's higher in the list, scroll down to the transparency tool, and increase or decrease the transparency of the highlighted layer. You can change the area being viewed in many ways. You can zoom in or out using your mouse wheel. You can use the plus and minus tools within the map viewer itself. You can pan across the data set using the traditional hand tool. You can drag to zoom using the magnifying glass with the plus. You can also move the map to a general location by using the search tool and typing in a place name or a zip code. You can go to the previous extent using the magnifying glass with the arrow. Or you can return to the full extent using the cross X icon. We will go to previous extent. You can identify attributes within the display layer by clicking the traditional eye tool, selecting a pixel, and you'll notice the return pixel information shows up in the right panel. And also notice that there are two different pixel values returned because there are two different layers active within this map window. Another option to view multiple layers besides using the transparency tool is to create an additional map frame. So I'm going to move over to the horizontal stack icon in the left panel and I'm going to select new map window and a fresh map window shows up within the map viewer itself. Now it's displaying the same layers as the original map window, but I can treat it independently by turning layers on and off and adding different layers. I can arrange how these layers are displayed within the map viewer. In the bottom right hand corner, there's an arrange windows tool and I'm going to choose side by side, but I could choose up and down. Up to nine independent map frames can be open at one time, each independently showing different versions, different layers, and all spatially locked unless you turn spatial locking off in this right panel. The Identify tool operates independently within each map window. So if I select I in this map window, select a pixel, one value shows up tree cover at 87% because that is the layer that's being displayed within this map frame. Remember, if in this map frame, there are two layers that are active within that map frame. So if I identify a pixel, I get two values. I can also stream a layer into the active map window by again going to the horizontal stack icon in the left panel. I can add a WMS layer. 
I can type in the URL, select Get Layers, and it will be displayed within the active map frame. There is a legend tab. So I can select the legend tab and the legends within the active map window are going to display within the left panel. Remember, there are two active data layers, so two legends are going to display. If I make the right map window active, then there is only one, the, the existing vegetation cover legend being shown. Finally, there is a help tab. More information will be added to the help tab over time. Right now, there is a viewer instruction link that will take you to a document that describes many of the things that I talked about today. And below are three different methods for actually downloading data. And I will go into those in more detail in a future video.